Hi, she was seven. I'm back. So I was asked to do a topic on how come women or girls are not themselves around their boyfriend. Like, why don't they eat like they want to eat? Why don't they um, belch? Why don't they pass gas? <laughs> why do they keep all this to themselves and not be, you know, the real them? Um, I think it's because a lot of women think it's a turn off to, you know, do that in front of men and they feel less feminine and they want to feel like you know perfect and dainty and ladylike so they kind of like don't do that around you because you know they might seem gross to you and you might get grossed out and plus in society women are are supposed to be you know um charming and dainty and like ladylike so they don't want to just be burping and pooting all over the place that's nasty okay only years into marriage can you do that or you are allowed to do that <laughs> otherwise you know i think it will gross out the other person i know if i was a guy i would be like oh that's nasty don't do that in front of me and like it's funny because guys can do it in front of girls and girls just laugh and say ew you're gross but it's different for a lady you know it's not you know accepted widely in society for women just to go around going and being slobs and gross and stuff okay i mean it's bad enough that you know we have to hold that stuff in until we get somewhere safe <laughs> You know, it's bad enough. So don't question it. Just go with it. If you're if you've been together for years in a relationship, then I'm sure um, she's let down her guard a little bit. But in the beginning, don't expect it. You know, at least a year or two down the line. You can expect to start to see some signs of human life <laughs> or human bodily functions. But yeah, like. Even if a girl really doesn't like the guy, she's still not going to do that in front of him. You know, it's just, it's just our creed. It's our code. Unless you're like one of those girls who are like, um, you know, grungy and punk and just, you know, do whatever they feel like doing because it's part of their personality. Then, yeah, you know, that works for them. It doesn't work for everyone. Like... It does not work for everyone. And, you know, do you have some beautiful women that will just burp, you know, louder than a man? And some guys find that attractive. You know, you just have to figure out what works for you and what you're comfortable doing around, you know, the other person or your boyfriend. Because if your boyfriend's the type of guy who, you know, thinks certain things are gross or you don't think he'll accept it, then you're not going to do it. But if he's doing it all the time and asking you to do it too and, you know... If that's his, you know, cup of tea, then sometimes the girl will, you know, feel more comfortable and let loose earlier. But in the beginning, it's all going to be like <laughs> perfect, proper and prim. And a lot of guys don't act, you know, how they're supposed to act in front of um, their girlfriend either. Like they don't like a lot of guys will be like, oh, you know, I'm this, I'm that. But then, like, when they get around their friends, they act totally different, you know? It's like, okay, so when they're with you, they're like, oh, I love you so much. You mean so much to me. And then when you're out with them in front of their guys, they don't even want to, like, hold your hand or acknowledge that they're in love with you. They treat you totally different. So it's basically the same thing, you know? Um, <laughs> the funny story behind that, like, a lot of girls are extra affectionate and guys don't like that in front of their friends because they make they might make them seem soft or whatever. But every time I see a woman and a, uh, a guy and he's not afraid to show affection, I think that's like a turn on. I mean, who cares what those other guys think? They're not going home with you, you know? Think about it. Um, that was like one of the main reasons I broke up with one of my boyfriends is because he felt like he was... Uh, too macho or whatever to you know show affection in public and i was like okay well when we get home i'm not going to show you any affection in private okay <laughs> anyway yeah like me i was like <laughs> when i was young i would date someone 
like after like a first my first couple of boyfriends i would date someone and if i didn't like something they did or they just you know got on my nerves i would just dump them i'm like Psh, i'm done with you you know on to the next you know i didn't i didn't i didn't like drama i didn't like you know fake people i didn't like being put second i didn't like any of that you know if i wasn't number one if i wasn't first then i'm out on to the next bigger and better okay <laughs> yeah y'all and it's so funny to see those old boyfriends down the line on facebook and stuff they're all married to like ugly women <laughs> So it's like the best, like the best revenge ever. Seriously, that's like the best revenge ever. And then they see you still look good. Oh, nothing like it. <laughs> anyway, what goes around? Come, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to burst into random songs. But anyway, so thanks for the topic idea. I think that was um, a good question. And ladies, if you feel comfortable enough around your man to, you know, expose all your bodily functions, go right ahead. If they leave you for that, then they were they were pretty shallow in the first place. Men, if you don't show your women uh, enough affection in public, and she finds someone else who does, don't be mad because you know you had a job and you couldn't you couldn't do it. Okay. All right, y'all. Peace.